Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'd like to share with you how I section off diamond paintings with washi tape and with release papers. I am working with Diamond Art Club's The Bayou Lady. Uh, this is unfortunately out of print. There is no more of these um, available on the website. So I apologize if you see this and you're like, oh my god, I have to have it. I apologize. This is um, Princess Tiana. She is beautiful. Um, but if you're interested in checking out Diamond Art Club for their own, you know, diamond paintings, I'll have a link down below so that you can check out. On a diamond painting, you're gonna have um, the film like a like a clear plastic film on the top uh, or you're gonna have a like release paper from double-sided adhesive now with double-sided adhesive you could easily just cut a section very carefully with an exacto knife or with something like this which is a ceramic cutter which I prefer I love these um, but I'm just focusing on these diamond paintings with the clear plastic film on top now of course, you can diamond paint by peeling back the clear plastic film and then using something like a cover minder to hold back your plastic. That's what these are right here. Um, but if you are like me and you don't like to hear the plastic all the time, there are other methods. First, I'm going to show you how to use washi tape, and for this example, I'm going to be using washi tape that my mom got me. This is a beautiful Japanese um, fox washi tape, and um, you're just going to find the end of the tape. This is a stationary tape. Um, I use washi tape because it comes off of the plastic really easily. It's not permanent. You can get these at stationery stores. Um, you can get these online at, at lots of different stores. I'm hoping that I can get a clear, clean cut. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, so for the washi tape, I'm just going to peel across a section as wide as my diamond painting is. And I'm going to decide how tall I want my sections to be. For me, I usually make my sections as tall as the side of my palm. So if we go like this, you can make yours bigger, of course. I'm going to lay it down on the plastic and follow it along as carefully as I can to make sure that it lines up with the symbol above it because of what we're going to do next. So we're going to bring this across. And of course, you can go as fancy with this as you like. You can um, use scissors, you can use an X-Acto knife, whatever you like to get those edges straight if you want to. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in vertical lines. So how many sections do you like to complete in a row or what is an, a manageable section for you? This is going to be different from person to person, of course. You may want a very small section like this on the right side. You may want something that's a bit more square. It really is just up to your imagination. Sometimes I like to do uh, thirds, so I will just find the third and put it down just like this, and then find the next third, which mm, the middle, I'm gonna go from this side and say, Let's just go even with it and try right here. All right. Now you can do this to the entire painting. I like to do this to the just the next row that I'm working on. And then the way that you go from here is that you can use your ceramic cutter or your X-Acto knife and you just gently, very, very gently push down so that you're only cutting the plastic, then peel this away. In the next section, you're going to cut over the washi tape along the edge, up this edge, and do the same. And then for the last section, you'll just cut away across. This gives you a very uh, solid line to work from, and it gives you a goal to work towards. And personally, I find it very satisfying. 
But if you are not someone that has a lot of washi tape in your stash or you don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess with it if it seems like it's too faffy or if you want to be able to cover your diamond painting, say you need to get up and you need to move around or you don't have a lot of time to diamond paint, I highly recommend the next method. This method uses release papers. You'd be able to, uh, you can purchase these from Dive Art Club, of course. You can purchase these on Amazon. And these particular sheets come in this size, which is five and a half inches by 7.9 inches. So almost uh, five and a half by eight, uh, 14 by 20 centimeters. So you can decide how big or small you'd like your release papers to be for just uh, easy, easy ease. Ease, easy ease, I like to cut them in half. They don't have to be perfect, but the closer you can get them to square, the better. Then I like to take those papers and peel back the plastic. Be careful when you do this because you're exposing a lot of glue. And then I like to lay down my papers. Now, I prefer to open up sections from left to right, so I'm going to lay down the sections from right to left. I hope that makes sense. And I'm gonna use the um, straight edge cross at the top. Just like that, with a tiny bit of maneuvering, I have the pieces down and they span the length of the diamond painting. Again, you can make these as big or small as you like. So if you want to use the entire paper, go for it. Um, it's completely up to you. And then you can see here that we have excess plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that plastic off so that it doesn't bother us while we're diamond painting in our next row, just by going just like a centimeter above the bottom of the release papers and taking off the plastic like so. Now you're ready to diamond paint. And I personally still use the diamond painting cover minders to keep the plastic part down, this plastic that is still here. You could continue using your release papers all the way down your painting. I prefer not to because what I'm doing is I am rolling up the diamond painting, you can see it here, with my little clips because this is a 125 centimeter painting. I like to keep it rolled up so that it just drops off the side of the table. And this way I'm just working with a little bit at a time. And trust me, when you're doing it this way, it does make it feel like you're getting through the diamond painting so much quicker. So that's why you'll see on my videos that I use this method the most, but one method is not better than another. And however you like to diamond paint works for you. That's the best way in my opinion. So what do you think? Do you like to use washi tape, release papers, or some other method? Let me know down in a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more videos and hit that bell so you get notified when I make a new one. And I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care everyone. Bye.